Hello everyone, good day. So today uh, I just finished reviewing my article having a light and dark version of your Power BI reports and I wanted to show you and make this short video about what are the three ways or the three different approaches that I believe exist uh, in order to create a light and dark version of your Power BI reports, okay? So uh, obviously I will invite you to go through the, through the blog post but let's go and check uh, how this one is done in Power BI. So let me go to Power BI Desktop. I have already prepared a file in here and I will go through the first approach. And the first approach would be through bookmarks, but also through creating uh, or duplicating every visual that you, that you have on your Power BI. So you will have every time two different versions of the same visual, a dark version and a light version. Now, I believe that this is extremely time consuming. So this first method is one that I would not really highly recommend, or at least not for reports that need to, need to be uh, revised on, on a very, uh, on a very frequent basis because it's, it's, it can be quite, quite time consuming. Okay. So as you see here, I have created two versions of the same visual. One of them is a, a, a one of them is a dark version and the other one is a light version. And I have grouped them uh, here on the visualization pane. Let me make this one bigger so you can get a better uh, view. So basically in here I have all the elements that will be of the dark version. Then I will hide them and you will see all the elements that are part of the light version. Okay, so this one is ready. And what I will do, and this is done through bookmarks, okay? So I will select both, uh, both groups, the dark and the light version, and I will add a bookmark. This bookmark, first bookmark, will be uh, the light version of the, of the report. And then I will invert the selection because we are going to show only the dark elements. And I will add it and I will uh, just rename it dark, okay? Something which is very important when working with bookmarks is that, uh, or at least with this type of uh, bookmarks, is that you don't save the data and only for the selected visuals, okay? So this is something that I would always do in this type of uh, bookmark approaches. Uh, don't select the data and only the selected visuals. And now I can test my bookmarks and they are working properly. The next thing would be very quickly to create an action or to assign the button to an action. And in this case, this button will be assigned to a bookmark and the bookmark will be the light version. I will test it pressing control on my keyboard. Okay, it's working. And then uh, I will now select this button and the action, once more, it will be a bookmark. And this bookmark will be of the dark version of the report. Now let's test it and both of them are working perfectly. Great. So this would be the first approach and it's basically using bookmarks and having two elements uh, of every visual on every version, on the light and dark version. But as I mentioned, I believe that this is quite time consuming. Now, the second one would be via DAX. Uh, for this one, you will need to create a table and it, will, it needs to be something like the one that I am showing to you right now. So basically you need a, a table that contains what are the color codes, uh, the hex color code of the labels or the text that you are going to use. What is the background color that you are going to use? And also just add label, right? So it is dark and night and this is the way for differentiating it. Now, you will need to create some measures, some DAX me measures for this one. And let me show you the measures that we have created for this one. So basically it's a switch statement that uh, whenever you are selecting dark, you are going to show the values. In this case, it's only one value for the color code background. And the same happens uh, when the selected value is light, you will show the values, which is only one for the color code background. And the same happens with text. But in this case, you are going to return the color code for the labels. Okay, so now going back to uh, our report, uh, we will need to apply conditional formatting. Remember, uh, I, I always use these uh, shapes behind the visuals to give a little bit of white space. So basically every time that I create a visual is basically 
uh, transparent, okay? But this is something that it's not a requirement. This is something that I do, but still I will show you how this background changes. So in this case, uh, I will go to general and in general, I will now go to effects and I you need to, to the effects of the background and this will be conditionally formatted. And in this case will be of a field value and the field value will be the dark and light background, okay? Now, the same you have to do uh, for the visual. And in the visual, what I am doing in here is that every part or every property that it has to do with text, I will apply conditional formatting. I will only do it and I will only show it for you, for example, in the x-axis. Uh, in the x-axis, uh, what I will do is that the color in here uh, needs to be conditionally formatted. And as you see here, the format, stay, uh, the format style is based on a value. And then the value will depend on the measure, which is the dark and light text. Okay. Now I will press on OK. And in here you will see that I apply this conditional formatting also for the Y axis, which in this case you will see that it's uh, applying a conditional formatting. And also I apply it, for example, for the legend and also for the title, you will see that this one has conditional formatting. Now, you will need to paste in here or you will need to use um, a slicer. And in this case, it's a single selection slicer. And basically, uh, you are selecting and, and the, the axe formula selected value is kicking in. And basically, when you select dark, it is showing the background, the dark background with the light text. And when you are showing light, it's showing the light background with the dark text. Okay, so it makes sense. Now, uh, let me show you what it's my preferred method. And this will be the third method uh, on how to create the Power BI uh, dark and, and, and light versions. So basically in here, you will need two versions of the report, but I will use in here JSON uh, themes to change to change the, the full formatting of all the all the visualization. So in this case, I will have a, I will browse for things, for example, and I will choose my dark version. And you will see that all visuals change to a dark version. So there was no need of applying DAX, conditional formatting, or bookmarks. So basically everything is applied and all the visuals within are applying a dark version. And then I will apply for browse for themes and I will apply a light version. Okay. So once more, you will see that I have two versions of the same file and I will actually save them with different names. One of them will be the light version and the other one will be the dark version. Let's go to Power BI service and I will show you after publish it, I will have two versions of the same file, right? So I will have a, my dark version of the file and I will have my light version of the file, okay? So in here, the only thing that I would do now is I will go to edit and this button, what I will do is that the action of this button will actually be a web URL and the URL will be the URL of my light version. Okay. So in this case, I will paste the URL of my light version. Uh, I will now save this report and I will uh, now view, sorry, reading view. Okay, so now I will click on this button and it should take me to the to the light version of my report, which it did. Now I am going to do the same for the light version. I will go to edit. I will click on the button. The action will be a URL and I will copy the URL for the dark version and I will paste it. Then I will save this report. I will go back to the reading view and I will go to the, I click and now this should take me to the dark version. Now the big con of this uh, approach of this third approach is that uh, you need to have two versions of the report. And actually when you click, you navigate and you open a different tab uh, within your, your uh, browser, your internet explorer. But 
uh, as you see, if you have already prepared uh, a JSON theme format for dark and light version, it's super easy to apply these formats and then just change very, very quick to dark and light and don't don't mix, mess with DAX and with uh, other things that need to be a lot more granular and a lot more clicking in order to apply these formats. Well, uh, this was it for, for me for today. Uh, all of the information that I talked today and links and everything that might uh, come in handy for you creating your uh, next awesome two versions of your Power BI reports we are containing the blog. Uh, I will paste the links uh, on the description uh, of it. And please, as always, do not forget to share, like and subscribe. If you have any questions and would like to deep dive on any of this, please let me know and I will pay attention to your comments. Thank you very much. Bye bye.